sources to enable us to arrive there. What we have currently developed is a five-year budget based on continuing and exploiting the model that we have today, but also stretching that by reference to the income or cost benefits from the investments we're making. That steps us forward, but in our opinion, not enough given the changing world around us, and that was the reason I put that slide on. The options to address the board's ambition are those we, that we are now crystallising for the trust to address as a result of that work. Those decisions will guide our final plan. We are in it together. The options, although, norm, although numerous, boil down to three that are realistic, and this may be controversial, but I think we've got to say it, I'm reading it, but recently, and you can, you can use the words that they, you can either say, you know, like an ostrich burning his head, or you can say, the elephant in the room, or you can use the words they use, they call it cognitive dissonance. And it really means not really facing the problem that lies in front of us. That's what we have to do, I think. Do we re revisit Travis Jones, for instance? Did we make the right or wrong decision 10 years ago, for instance? Are the chiefs of being proof that something could have been done different? Share, move, are those still available? Should we think about those? Is there a will to even think about those? We need to think about what's coming next, especially in that context. That's the that's the that's the slide that frightens the life out of me. That's the one that I worry about. The one that shows me what everybody else is doing, in my opinion, wrongly, but what we actually face as a group of people to take on. That's the competition that we have to get to. Do we change the model? We've talked about golden share. We've talked about all of that things in the past. Do we adjust the model? There's always people have talked about takeovers of money coming in from outside. I am not saying what we should do, I'm saying we have to face the fact that we need to think about it in that context. Or should we do nothing? And whilst we've got our plan in place, five years, that goes past, as people in this room know, goes past pretty quick, and if we're going to plan something, we're not the fastest moving group of people in the world. So if we are going to plan something, we need to give ourselves plenty of time to do that. And one of the other things in that book about cognitive dissonance, one of the things that absolutely grabbed me, he said, avoiding failure short term inevitably leads to long term failure. And that's the bit we've got to How are we going to get there? So, whether it's you or we, we have to decide. Personally, am I tired of the job, this job? Absolutely no. Is it difficult? I think what people write down nowadays is OMG. <laughs> Daily I deal with vociferous views at operate opposite ends of a continuum. <coughs> a couple of examples, the three Gs. To some it's a complete waste of money. To others the three Gs, the best thing that's ever happened to us in years. For me it's part of the holy grail. And another I remember just recently, just to give you examples of, you know, of, of the factual position. <coughs> After a massive amount of demand for information about the Barnett stand, for a whole variety of reasons we were trying to be the words that will be used in the room is cagey about it because we want to do the best for the club and get the best benefit financially. But eventually the board felt that, you know what, there was so much interest in people from that side wanted to know we revealed our hand to a degree. And it was very interesting to see on our, on our website that said, why on earth would the club reveal its hand? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sat in the middle of that so much. It is, it is particularly difficult. So for the personal, as for the received personal volume of unfounded, slanderous and libelous insults and abuse on social media, I have to admit, as thick-skinned as I am, it does affect me hugely, more so my family, I find, for the life of them cannot understand why I would devote my life to this cause, and at so much personal and financial cost. Whilst they don't, I know that the people in this room do understand it, and that's why I'm saying this to you. That said, no doubt I won't last forever. I certainly will not stand in the way for a second any change that is the will of the ownership. So please know that most of the Saturday events for me tomorrow, at this point, having been tasked broadly by the trust to do three things develop the academy, develop the community involvement, and develop the club as a whole, and say hand on heart, backed by all the wellness statistics, that we are light years from where we started and we are progressing, in my opinion, particularly well. And, to illustrate, and to summarise exactly, <coughs> the back office and the board are working in well and are progressing well. The academy is really flying. 
the City Community Trust, FITC, is really, really flying. The two million development of the change of rooms, grandstand being developed with no capital stake at all from the club or its shareholders, is progressing superbly. The 3G, the 3G development at the cliff is immense. Our volunteers come back and back, and unlike what happens so often elsewhere, stick together in adversity, and it looks to me like they will not give in. Look at the numbers in here today. It might be small, but I'm delighted to see them back there. In the Grecian groups, we've said that there are very, very strong East End Grecians that lead the way, but also now seeing groups like the Junior Reds growing and exponentially, but also seeing the Senior Reds doing the same, both of which have had Big hand in, not so much the East Devon region, but I'm getting there, well. To see those numbers growing like that for me is hugely significant and hugely important. And finally, our esteem and relationships with the most influential and important of external bodies is higher, at a higher point now than it has ever been. So that as a list I think is significant and important. That said, the figures in the charts depicted earlier simply say we are doing better in every sphere aspect of the club, but in terms of budget onto the pitch to create a competitive team, we are, due to completely external factors, primarily philanthropy, beginning to lose more and more ground. And that's my the summarised details aforementioned are fact. The team at the moment, as yet, whilst there are good signs, is not functioning, functioning as it can or as I believe it will. That said, it's been addressed. Do not think that it is not being addressed. The board has had five meetings with the board in the last three months, and it's due to the board next Thursday. The State of the Nation alluded to all the above and more, which I will not repeat, but in essence, the club as a whole is, by recent comparison, in great shape with the caveat that there is much to do and we are far from perfect. But it could, despite all that, if the world in which we compete is analysed, be considered that in fact we are going backwards. We have to find a way to adapt to that reality. And finally, that I'm here today, with the date of birth of the 22nd of the 10th, 1956. <laughs> I hope underlines that I remain steadfast in my devotion to duty and resolute in my intention to find and facilitate a solution going forward. And whether I deliver another of these speeches or not, I will take this opportunity to thank you all, just in case, <laughs> <laughs> and support of the club and me as part of it for 13 years in the boardroom.